Hi guys, and uh, thought I'd show off some of the goodies I picked up today. Probably be picking up some more, uh, maybe tomorrow or over the weekend. So this is Midway Arcade Treasures 3. It includes eight retro racing classics. Um, Rush uh, Rock Alcatraz Edition, Off-Road Thunder, Rush 2049, Badlands Off-Road, Race Driving Stun Runner. That's a pretty good one. Hydro Thunder is probably the best one on this uh, compilation. <coughs> These are all games by Midway, as most people know. And I really like to see them uh, maybe re-release some of the uh, Mortal Kombat games. Maybe release them for the PS2 or PS3 on single discs. And maybe, you know, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and Mortal Kombat 3 on, sp on separate discs or maybe put them on the same disc, we don't compress the shit out of them so that we can play them on our next-gen systems, you know. And maybe tweak the graphics just a tiny bit, like like what was done with the uh, Sega Genesis collection, collection that just came out. Um, anyways, back to this. Off-Road Thunder was not quite what I expected it to be. Super Off-Road, once again, not what I expected it to be. I expected it to be uh, another 4x4 game. Um, one of the ones you could play on the N64. So that was not what I expected it to be at all. So I guess I'll be getting an Nintendo 64 soon, and I'll be reviewing that. And I'm either going to get my uh, I'm going to get my Super Nintendo back from my cousin, so that'll be reviewed too. Um, and I might get a Sega Genesis Model One, Two, or Three, or I just might get an FC Twin, so I can play Nint Nintendo games too. Um, Nintendo and Sega, and no, the FC Three, sorry. So I'll be able to play Nintendo, Sega, and SNES games, but I won't be playing those on the um, on an emulated system. If I actually have their actual system, I'll be getting that back soon, hopefully for cheap. And I'll start collecting games and reviewing those games, um, actual video reviews of them, so you guys can watch that. Anyways, <sighs> Badlands is not a bad game. This one you're driving in a kind of post uh, post war type city and you you have weapons and you can upgrade your you know speed and turbo and all that stuff each time you want to race each time you want to race you get money whether it be your first second I think you may get money for third I'm too good for that but the Badlands and um, what is it Off-Road Thunder actually are very reminiscent of the uh, Super Sprint that came out for the uh, NES. That's it's kind of you know an overhead view, and you're driving around this little track. It, it, you look like you're driving match cars, basically. Um, San Francisco Rush. Um, that game's emulated quite well. Probably one of the better emulated games on here, including Hydro Thunder. Some of these games do suffer from pixelization. Um, Obviously, because they had to compress some of these games to put them on there. I don't see why they had to compress them, you know, because there's only eight games here. And there's really not a whole lot of extras here. I think you have to unlock some of the extras that come on this set. So. Now, PlayStation 2's greatest hits, Medal of Honor Frontline. This is a really good World War II game. This is pretty much D-Day. Shows you what happened on D-Day. 19 deadly missions from Overlord to Market Garden. Um, you start out on the beach. You gotta shoot, uh, shoot at the gun turrets up, up in the uh, beach heads. Um, nice graphics here for a PlayStation 2 game. Controls are solid. Um, and as well with, with with this, sorry about this. All the controls here work well, and there's really no problems with them. <sighs> now back to this game. Um, you get 18 weapons, I guess. You can use them. Um, you're pretty much um, guided through this whole game, just like in the... Uh, it's kind of just like the uh, uh, Call of Duty series, too. And you're kind of guided through those those games as well. And that's kind of nice, because I don't want to, you know, just, just be you know fumbling through a game not knowing what the fuck to do. Um, so... Once again, great graphics. Um, I haven't played very much of it. I might... Dad actually owns a copy of this too, so he never really plays his PlayStation. So one day I might buy all his games from him, and I'll be reviewing them one day. So you never know. 
and this is made by Electronic Arts, and this came out in 2002. So, a really good game for 2002. Um, authentic sound, gun sounds, authentic reload sounds. Um, great game, rated T. I recommend you pick this up in the Call of Duty series. I wouldn't recommend picking up the Call of Duty game for the PlayStation. Um, from what I've seen, it's not that good. The controls suck, graphics suck. Um, very pixely game. I mean, if you're a fan of that stuff and you don't mind playing a game like that, I mean, I'm not one to be picky on PlayStation graphics, but when it comes to, you know, that game that I've seen online, it just looks horrible. Sorry, it just, it just doesn't look good at all. So avoid that if you like a game with flashy graphics, if you like a game with <coughs> flashy graphics, then pick up Call of Duty World at War or Call of Duty 3. Just don't pick up Call of Duty 3 for the Wii because it's a big pain in the butt to play on the Wii unless you have a classic controller. This is Bob Marley's Survival and Bob Marley and the Wailers. This is a great album. This has um, So Much Trouble in the World. That song is great. Um, Wake Up and Live. Those two songs are actually on uh, on the Grand Theft Auto soundtrack as well. You can listen to, to see those two songs on the radio. So that's pretty cool. Um, Zimbab <coughs> Zimbabwe, that's another good one. Survival. I haven't listened to the entire record, but there it is. Right there. Oh, it's in the CD player, sorry. Here's a picture of Bob Marley there in the right corner. Some kids, and that's in the uh, Jamaica. And there's some Bob Marley merchandise right there. And you get lots of, you know, photos in here too. I'm not going to show them because. But the CD itself is just uh, gold, like most other Marley releases. I know the greatest hits one is just a gold CD, and, and it has a lion, a lion on the front on the CD itself and then it says the title of the disc survival so it's pretty plain but pretty cool it still has the great message as all Bob Marley's music did it, it, it spoke of his uh, situation with his country and maybe himself you know fighting for freedom fighting against you know uh, I don't know just just all the political unjust that was going on during that time is, is you know, brought into his music. He talks about lots of political things and war, stuff like that. But, uh, um, so today I might pick up a treat. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is because it's going to be a big surprise. I was so shocked that I found it there. And I might pick it up or I might pick up the FC3 or FC Twin. Um, but I hear there's a lot of problems with the FC Twin, so we'll see. Um, um, expect um, just lots of videos to come in the future. I don't think I'll be stopping anytime soon. I am pawning some things to get um, some games and stuff. So some things you may not see being reviewed uh, only because they don't. I don't own them anymore, and a lot of those things I'm pawning just don't mean anything to me anymore. You know, I don't watch them, or I've watched them enough to where I don't need it. You know, it's it's worthless. So. That's where I stand on that. Oh, I wish I had more things to pawn, but, you know, I guess that's what happens when you don't have a job. You start getting desperate and, you know, start hawking everything you own, but I'm not going to do that. A lot of people do that, and I I've done that before in the past. I hawked all my good games, all of them, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, so that's never, ever going to happen again. So I'm trying to build on my collection right now and just get rid of garbage, you know. <coughs> so, yeah. <coughs> That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.